Two days after shutting out rival Harrison, the McCutcheon Mavericks are now one win away from a sectional title. But waiting for the Mavs in the championship, the number one team in Class 4A, Zionsville. Bottom of the first inning, Jackson Smeltz. Getting to the Eagles ace, Nick Prather, early. Looks like just a base hit, but a friendly bounce for the Mavs. That's all the way back to the wall. Billy Law trying to score from first, and he is safe at the plate. McCutcheon takes the early lead. Smeltz safe at third. Still in the first. Alex Bossert, he gets the bat on it. That's a chopper to short. Smelt scores from third. Mavs up 2-0 after one. Now in the third inning, the Eagles responding. Down a run, Jordan Cox hammers one to left field. That ball is deep. And judging by the response of the Zionsville fans who are in my way, it is gone. A solo home run for Cox to tie the game at two. Tacking on some breathing room in the fifth. Jacob Hurtabais smacks a ground ball through the right side. Riley Bertram goes from first to third. Jack Pilcher scores for a 4-2 lead. Mavs mounting a late comeback in the bottom of the seventh. Runners on second and third for Bossert. It's another chopper, this time to third. Bossert thrown out by a hair at first. Loft scores, though, and the Mavs are within a run. Smelt still at second. Two outs for Evan Allen. Down to his final strike. Allen a grounder to first. The Eagles make the play, and that's your ball game. The Mavs come up just short, 4-3, to three, final score. I think we set a sectional record for you know, most guys out on the bases in three games. Um, so we had plenty of opportunities and just, just didn't execute maybe as well as we could have. Uh, but you also got to give credit to our guys because we were on base. You know, that's the number one team in the state. they got a kid going D1 and you know, a real nice pitcher. You know, they've got three or four of them, and we battled all day long. Just very proud of our effort and our seniors. Meanwhile, in the Class 2A Delphi sectional semifinals, Ryan Long and the host Oracles looking to upset Central Catholic. Solid start for Delphi, tied at one in the second. Clay Corbin shoots Ben Metzinger's pitch to left. The ball finds its way to the wall. Two runs score on Corbin's stand-up double. Delphi would tack on two more runs in the frame to lead 5-1. to one. But the Knights charge back, down 5-2 in the third. Braden Bordenay touches them all with a two-run shot to dead center. CC cuts the deficit to just a run. Still in the third inning, Tyler Powers next up, and he's going to rip a base hit to left field. Jackson Anthrop, he scores on the play, and we're all tied up at five, and uh, we feel your pain, guy. The night's far from done. Move to the fourth. Ben Tharp, moonshot to left field. Two-run homer for Tharp. Central Catholic advancing to the sectional final. The Knights crush Delphi 19-7. They play Seeger tonight at 7 p.m. for the title. Elsewhere in Chalmers, Rossville taking on Pioneer in the Class A Frontier sectional title game. Scoreless in the second. Check out Dawson Jacoby catches Nate Johnson napping. Savvy play from the ninth grader. Now leading 1-0 in the third. John Friend chops one back up the middle. Two runs cross home plate on that play. The Hornets take a 3-0 advantage. And the Panthers clawing back. Fourth frame, Caleb Kinley drills Jacoby's pitch to center. Two run single for Kinley. And we're knotted up at three. Next batter, Jacob Morris with a blooper to center field. Nate Johnson, who's caught napping earlier, but he scores safely here. Pioneer takes a 4-3 to three lead. Tough afternoon for Jacoby. He gets yanked, but Christian Howard, not much better. Pioneer continuing to find the outfield. Tucker Waddups drills one to center field. The Panthers defeat the Hornets 11-8 to, to win the sectional championship.